you believe in financial testimonies, I release it to your life. This week, I release it to your life. This week, I release it to your life. The cause of emptiness in your life, financial emptiness in your life, I pray for you by the God of grace and God of mercy this night, by a prophetic word I declare, enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy financial supplies from today. May God raise strangers, men you do not know, and cause them to be interested in your rising. May God raise captains of industry and direct their interest to you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I forbid you from begging. I forbid you from begging. By the wisdom of the Spirit, I forbid you from begging. By the favor of God, I forbid you from begging. By the gift of man, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that God is able to give us treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places where the eyes of men cannot see. May God show you gold in the midst of debris. May God show you gold in the midst of chaos. You will see things others don't see. You will capitalize on opportunities for your profiting. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, whoever is looking for a man to help, may they find you. Whoever is looking for a man to lift, may they find you. In the name of Jesus, for those of you who are owing, you are owing corporate debt, personal debt, ministry debt, I decree and declare, by the gift of men, the ministry of helpers, come out of that financial calamity now. Come out of that financial calamity now. I bless the works of your hands. Go and prosper in business. Go and prosper in your career. Go and prosper in your investments. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare every careless decision depleting your finances, careless financial decisions, I decree and declare, may the wisdom of God bail you out of such kind of lifestyle. In the name of Jesus, since you believe in financial testimonies, I release it to your life. This week, I release it to your life. This week, I release it to your life. In addition to your spiritual growth, in addition to your prayer life, in addition to your word study, in addition to your loving Jesus, in addition to your serving Jesus, I declare go and prosper. Go and prosper with dignity and with honor in the name of Jesus. For some of you, you have been helped by God, but the dimension you will experience this week, let it be such that you have never seen before. Let it be such that you have never seen before. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare, let something rest on your head from tonight. Hear me. Hear me. Favor is likened to light that shines upon the face of a man. A glow that attracts help. I'm praying for you. Whatever has covered you so that those who help you cannot identify that you are the one they were sent to. I declare that veil is torn from off your face. That veil is torn from off your destiny, torn from off your face. In the name of Jesus, every assignment you have now before you that depends on finances, wherever God has ordained for that money to come from, I don't care if it's in millions or billions, provided it is for your destiny and will ultimately lead to the glorification of the Christ. I stand by prophecy. I gravitate those resources to your life. I gravitate those resources to your life. I hope you believe it. I gravitate those resources to your life. For some of you, while you are here in Nigeria, foreigners, God will connect you to men across the nations 
they will desire to help you of their own accord they will hold your hands and see to it that you are empowered also in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for you the destruction that comes with prosperity I decree and declare it is exempted from your life the spiritual lukewarmness that befalls men in the presence of plenty may it be far from your life you will prosper still having your zeal for Jesus you will prosper still having your passion for Jesus you will prosper still prioritizing the kingdom you will prosper and your resources will be beneficial for the kingdom receive it in the name of Jesus declare that your weak beginning is blessed in Jesus name the hand of the Lord is strong upon you you will see the evidence of this miracle service all through the week in the name of Jesus Christ it will be back-to-back -back testimonies from tonight up until Sunday and up until the month November in the name of Jesus I call your November a blessed month I call it a month of favor I call it a month of testimonies I call it a month of breakthrough I call it a month of lifting you will see the hand of God strong upon your life you will make constructive destiny along the path of I mean a, a constructive progress along the path of destiny in Jesus name I bless you with honor I bless you with favor goodness and mercies follow you in the name of Jesus Christ fresh fire upon your prayer life fresh fire upon your word study life you are separated from evil naysayers are far from your life evil doers are far from your life all who will make for your favor may they appear this week all who will make for your spiritual efficiency may they appear this week wisdom is yours this week you will make quality decisions that enhance your destiny when God gives you rest roundabout that you look left right forward backward and all you see is the faithfulness of God is called a turnaround I just described someone's testimony tonight in the name of Jesus Christ may my God give you a turnaround that you look around your life and all you see is his faithfulness rise up on your feet full of faith and let's pray shout this after me say father one more time say father tonight I believe that you are the God of all grace and I declare that my faith is ready to receive open your mouth and begin to pray in one minute ready to receive ready to receive ready to receive my healing ready to receive a sent word A global family make sure you pray release your faith as you pray ready to receive a miraculous manifestation ready to receive my miracle children my miracle spouse are you praying ready to receive miracle open doors it's a miracle service it must answer to its name in my life your voice and pray all the overflows pray outside pray our online family release your faith I release my faith it's a new season in ministry I release my faith a new season for my finances I release my faith a new season for my family someone is praying a new season for ministry in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now I'm going to give you the next two or three minutes you're going to mention specifics the very areas you are trusting God to attend to I know that you came with your prayer request but I'm talking about areas that God will visit now as we pray you know the areas of pain and concern be the prophet of your destiny open up your mouth and begin to place a demand I'm releasing my faith with you go ahead and pray some of you is healing some of you is children 
some of you miracle marriages a miracle spouse miracle open doors some of you you are trusting God to give you rest round about come on now pray to the God of all grace the God of all grace the God of all flesh some of you greater anointing greater prophetic fire greater apostolic fire greater levels of wisdom greater levels of insight financial favor strange connection to help us of destiny some of you are praying for peace some of you are praying for increase enlargement God desires to give you all things freely all things freely silent open your mouth and pray Lord I'm trusting you to bring me out of financial calamity by the wisdom of God by the favor of God by the mercy of God turn my captivity turn my mourning to dancing sorrow to joy heal me oh Lord and I will be healed save me and I will be saved you are my rock, my fortress, my salvation. A few more seconds, you are praying. You are praying seriously to the God that answers prayers. Let this demonic oppression over my life, let this demonic oppression over my family, let this mysterious attack over my health, attack over my relevance, attack over my person, attack over my business, let it give way tonight. The name of Jesus majesty majesty your grace has found me just as I am empty handed but alive in your hands your majesty In the name of Jesus, who is by the name Shola? I'm hearing a name Shola. That should be a Yoruba name. Shola, the Lord is speaking to me. Shola, if, if, if that is, I want to speak to that person very quickly. Shola, wherever you are, if you are in here, please let me speak to you very quickly. I'm hearing the name Shola. Shortly, we're going to be ministering deliverance. There are people who have gone under all kinds of demonic siege. Shola, where is Shola? Elando Sabrake Belanto Sabrakati I'm hearing a Hausa named Godia. Godia means thanksgiving in Hausa. That should be someone's name. Your name is Godia. Who is that person? Please come and stand here. Your season has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who you are. Your name is not given to me, but you work in an oil and gas company. You work in an oil and gas company. The Lord told you I was going to call you when you come here. Come. Who is that person? You work in an oil. Please make sure you are not rash. Don't just jump and come out carelessly. You work in an oil and gas company. Alanto salicre feneca paratos calibre de balandoxia. Ah, Majesty. You work in an oil and gas company. Shola, I want to pray for your family. Where is Shola? I want to, all of you are Shola. Make sure that's, no, I'm not saying you are standing for your brother or sister. If it's not you, just remain where you are. I want to pray for you because the Lord is telling me that he wants to open a door for the family, not just the individual, a door for the family. I'm going to pray for you, but this is for the family. Shola, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare, Godia, the power of God is coming on you. The power of God is coming on you. The power of God is coming on you. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you the yoke of darkness, the yoke of darkness, causes that have tied your life down, tied your family down in the name that is above all names. I'm releasing the power of God over your life now. Let those forces give way now. What God says to one, he says to all. So that I'm speaking to them does not mean you should not receive. I'm saying it again, these forces of darkness, as they are being delivered, I decree and declare, anyone going through a similar oppression be delivered now. Shola, the Lord is visiting your family, not just you. Family, help that gentleman. Your family, I curse that spirit right now and I declare divine visitation. Divine visitation. Divine visitation. I don't know what God is doing for someone in an oil and gas company, but I'm hearing the Lord saying you will own your own. You will own your own. You will own your own. I'm just saying it as God is putting it in my heart. I decree and declare, let that man to rest on you now. Let that man to rest on you now. Let that grace rest on you now. You will marvel and wonder at the power of prophecy. Let it rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing rain oil. Rain oil. R-A-I-N-O-I-L. I believe that's, I think it's a filling station or something like that. Or a company. Rain oil. Who works there? Rain oil. My friend, do you believe in the power of prophecy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. Where are you from? From Ghana. What am I seeing you do in UK? United Kingdom. Go and write it. Your days are numbered. God I've is going to, to move you to a place of destiny. You believe that? Yes, I do. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Let that anointing rest upon you. Let it be a new season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ oil and gas God is still speaking to me you will own your own this is what God is telling me I'm prophesying it I have to once the word has gone forth I know that it has left I'm praying again whoever needs to receive this word I decree and declare let it rest upon you like the dew of hammer in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus and for the Godia person I prophesy to I decree and declare one testimony after another this is how you begin to celebrate them in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now I'm not ministering deliverance to people yet but pick someone from Kogi state a strong anointing is going to fall on a lady now she's from Kogi state bring her here please return back to your seat Kogi state this is how God does his thing from Kogi state Kalanto sali grege barantos cobra dizem ebranto zeleke fradige barados 
the Lord is setting a lady from Kogi state. This is her whole family. This thing has existed for more than 50 years. It has tied down the destinies of people. But the fire of God is visiting that lady. She's representing a family from Kogi state. Please bring her here. What God says to one, he says to all. But this is a particular word for someone from Kogi state. Kogi state. There's a lady called Mary. I'm seeing the power of God come on a lady called Mary. Who is Mary? The power of God is resting upon that lady. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, you will recover. You will recover. You will recover. You will recover in the name of Jesus Christ. You will recover. I'm prophesying the word of recovery for one Mary. Mary, the Lord is speaking to you in the name of Jesus Christ. How forcible are right words. When God brings a prophetic word, just know that an end has come to that situation. Madam, Mary, I declare be set free now. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus. There's someone by the left side of the balcony. I'm seeing like fire resting on someone by the left side of the balcony you may not be able to help please help the person so they don't enjoy themselves the left side of the balcony the lord is telling me i am changing your story i am changing your story the left side of the balcony what he says to one he says to all let there be that deliverance for you in jesus name in jesus name now hear me everyone who is going to respond to this prophetic declaration let me tell you what you'll be responding to the spirit of stagnation has tied you down. I'm about to pray for you and the power of God will rest on you. All those who are coming under the anointing now, when that anointing rests on you, just know that you have been delivered from stagnation. I want you to bring them out, ushers. I decree and declare as the Lord is ministering to me, everyone here who has suffered stagnation, you have been kept at the same level. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit locate you where you are and bring you deliverance now. Look, locate you where you are. Stagnated in life, stagnated in destiny, be delivered now. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray that everything that represents stagnancy, pegging me, keeping me in the same position, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. Is someone praying? Please bring them out. Everyone under the influence of this demonic spirit of stagnation gives way now. Stagnation in life and in destiny. Stagnation in life and in destiny. Outside. All the overflows following online be set free this moment be set free this moment by the power of the Holy Ghost be released to go forward be released to go forward be released now be released in the name of Jesus be released to go forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. I want to pray something the Lord is putting in my heart now. I remember praying this prayer during one of the miracle services. And the Lord is asking me to pray. There is something connected to a demonic lineage of priesthood. Connected to a family. Demonic lineage of priesthood. Whether someone from that family and that lineage directly served idols or was a medium to contacting the divine. And this thing has affected many families. I want to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, I stretch my hands. I want you to bring them out. My God, there is a mighty deliverance about to happen. Everything by demonic orchestration that has tied everyone here who has come by the blood of the eternal covenant be released now. 
be released now. I set those altars on fire now. On fire now. On fire now. Aparakos ketebelekata. On fire now. Now that you are born again, I break the chain between you and ancestry. The chain between you and idol worship. The chain between you and superstition. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break free from idol worship. The Lord is setting people free. You may not even know that this has tied your destiny down. But the Lord sent you here tonight to experience liberty. Liberty indeed. Again, I'm praying for someone. Every cord that has tied you to the yokes of ancestry, the covenant of darkness and dark powers, in the name of Jesus, be delivered this moment. Bring them out. Be delivered this moment. Everyone's name that is on any demonic altar, Parakatos for your destruction, for chaos, and for anarchy. If the blood could blot out every handwriting, then I decree and declare every coven carrying your name, carrying your mission, carrying your destiny, let it be consumed by fire now. Consumed by fire now. Consumed by fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kalate paratos kavrida meleke paranto sigetes. Lekro sabira tu sabrenda baladus kiata. Good things never stay in your hands. It comes but it leaves. It comes but it leaves. Just when you are about to hold good news, something happens and it loses from your hand. I pray for you, whoever this person is, by this prophetic word, everything causing good things to slip out of your hands. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. Magdalene I'm hearing a name Magdalene I'm about to pray for the sick now but I'm hearing a name Magdalene and the Lord is telling me he's bringing restoration for Magdalene he's bringing restoration it will be like a dream restoration that before the end of November Magdalene I don't know who that person is in the name of Jesus God is bringing supernatural restoration whatever it is that you have lost by this prophetic word I speak to you, experience restoration in the name of Jesus. Now let's pray. I'm going to minister deliverance proper now in the next two, three minutes. I believe in deliverance. I do. Absolutely. I believe that people can be victims of satanic conditions and oppressions and behind many inexplainable situations are demonic occurrences it's about to give way now i'm going to ask you to shout that name jesus you do not shout it as a ritual it's not a journey or a some kind of mental formula i will ask you to shout it by the spirit there is an anointing upon that instruction remember what i taught you at the shout of that name jesus anyone who is under the influence of any kind of yoke familiar spirits the workings of darkness as you shout that name just once with faith in your heart fire will rest upon your life and through you rest upon your family I want you to quickly bring those people out so that I'll pray for them and then I want to pray for the sick in the name that is above all names father you have called this a miracle service there are lives and destinies under all kinds of yokes i decree and declare for everyone under the sound of my voice every spirit that has oppressed you every negative condition that is demonically engineered as you shout that name be free once and for all are you ready now one two three shout jesus be free now be released now be released all the overflows be released 
inside be released the balconies be released connecting online be released in the name of Jesus please bring them out very quickly by the power of the Holy Spirit bring them out in the name of Jesus oppressions of wickedness be set free right now yokes causes ancestry orchestrations of delay orchestrations of retrogression be set free now for that gentleman for that sister that daughter of Abraham be set free now be set free now be set free now in the name of Jesus bring them out I'm praying for them by the power of the Holy Spirit you have been kept in one location in one place nothing moves in your life nothing grows in your life nothing changes in your life today as you encounter this anointing I pray for you may God move you forward may God move you forward in a fearful dimension may God move you forward move you forward move your children forward move your family forward in the name of Jesus hallelujah the Lord is speaking to me and is ministering to me that some of you came here so that you will be found of God God wants to raise people in your family that becomes an access point for him and that there are many of you he brought here and there is an anointing this one is not deliverance this one is an impartation God wants to locate you by an anointing to show you that he has put upon you the mantle of a savior over your family I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus as you hear me I decree and declare let that oil locate you let that grace locate you ordained to be the savior of your family still bring them out in the name of Jesus I decree receive an impartation receive an impartation receive an impartation receive an impartation some of you will be the first to bail your family financially some of you will be the first to introduce Jesus to your family some of you will be the first to help your, your loved ones to rise beyond a certain level anyone called into that ministry I place grace on your life now I place grace on your life now Ah, someone is saying Lord here am I send me send me send me I'm still praying for you again you came to contact grace you may be the, the weakest you may be a male a female it doesn't matter I pray for you one more time an anointing from heaven let it land on your head right now it rest on your destiny right now I'm hearing in my spirit that rejected stone that rejected stone I don't know what has made you rejected maybe in your family maybe in your destiny maybe among your contemporaries let me prophesy upon you that rejected stone let an anointing rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now for an extraordinary destiny let it rest upon you now open your mouth and shout say father say it again say father in the name of Jesus I take my place in life and destiny open your mouth and pray I take my place the place ordained for me the place commissioned for me lo I come in the volume of the book I may be ordinary but there is an ordination upon my life I may be ordinary but there is a grace on my destiny and in this season I decree and declare that I walk in the reality of my call I walk in the reality of my assignment the reality of my call 
the reality of my assignment in the name of Jesus for all those in front here I decree and declare every oppression of darkness over your life I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant it gives way now it gives way now every legal access Satan has over your life I declare that access broken now in the name of Jesus return to your seat rejoicing I'm hearing the cry of babies children I'm hearing the cry of babies like you know like a baby crying and when God ministers like this I know that someone is about to receive the miracle of the fruit of the womb I don't know who is trusting God whether for yourself or for your loved one I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ according to the time of life return with your miracle children return with twins and triplets in the name of Jesus Christ where you have tried and tried and tried and tried and it's not seemed to work I release an anointing upon you and I decree and declare that this time around it will be your testimony this time around it will be your testimony this time around it will be your testimony I'm seeing a family build an estate but they've been stagnated for a while like building a, 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 some unit of houses this is what I'm seeing but they've been stagnated for a while like something just happened peg the resources and they are not able to continue let me use that as a point of contact to pray for everyone here when God starts a thing he finishes but you see every time you see stagnancy where there was once motion it means that Satan has hijacked that process for you it may not be a house you are building it may be a destiny you are building it may be your business you are building it may even be your spiritual life you are building that you started on a journey successfully so and for some reason Satan hijacked it in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for someone who is willing to receive by the power that raised Christ from the dead what you have started may it finish in your lifetime may it be finished in your lifetime in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me I want to take a few minutes and pray a very special prayer for your finances if you don't believe that prayers can be offered over someone's finances and God will change the person's story then you are not a Christian are we together by the mercies of God and with every sense of humility I know a bit about finances I understand the laws of wealth but I know that there is a grace from God that can bail a man out do you know when I was praying I had to take the time to browse the major needs of Africans I just took out time I wanted to know not just by word of knowledge because ministers of the gospel are solution providers are we together and do you know let me tell you the truth I got to find out and many of you will honestly admit here that as it is right now many believers love Jesus already so it's not an issue of not being serious spiritually the major issue with people right now right now I was having a haircut and I was discussing with the person who was barbing my hair and I was just joking I said tell me how much a bag of rice is now and he said it's I think 95,000 or something like that or, or 100 or something and I was just joking I said well I'm sure that who knows by December now just in the next one or two months you will be surprised that you'll be a hundred and something even you know as it always does there are many people who are stranded financially children have been driven back home by responsible parents just because they are incapacitated they've gotten to a point where their salaries cannot do so much that is the truth many people are gainfully employed gone are the days where these lazy people who are crying for lack of money right now people who have been working 
perhaps in the civil service uh, doing the very best that they know to do let me tell you the truth if you think the church cannot provide solution to financial problems then you have limited the God of the Bible when God steps in he is able to supply all our needs in order of spiritual priority your spiritual needs but the God who can only solve your spiritual problems cannot be called the Lord of all the one who you call Lord of all is the one who is vast and powerful enough to attend to all and any matter of concern are we together so I'm just telling you that when we get to the place where I'm speaking over your finances please don't keep quiet I submit to you by the grace of God this house is like Goshen contrasting to Egypt that while there was darkness in Egypt there was light in Goshen and if God has shown us mercy you should not be a part of this vision and then be looking left and right wondering where bread comes from we have found a fountain in the spirit where waters flow without end it is by the riverside we don't wait for rainy or dry season we have found help it's an oasis that flows from the rock and it will never never go dry never never <laughs> never go dry are we together you can only give what you have oh if you don't have it you cannot give it by the grace of God God has shown us mercy even in the area of finances this is why the temptation to manipulate is a temptation that dies on arrival it is unnecessary and it is foolish do you know why because when God helps you and gives you capacity in an area he has also empowered you to resist the tendency for temptation in that area when someone is eating and is full, you can't tempt the person with food. It won't work. There are many, many believers who love Jesus. Some of you right now, you are neck deep into all kinds of debt. Personal debt, corporate debt. There are churches, men and women of God who love the Lord. And their churches are about to close because they are not able to pay the bills. I know a God who is merciful and kind faithful and gracious have the apple of his eyes the thought that fills his heart every morning noon and night hold on press the name of the lord hold on the lord is showing me something that i saw many years ago and i'm seeing it again He's reminding me of a vision that he showed me where I was holding bread and the bread had honey. As I just raised this song, this is what I saw. You see, I, I've shared that vision here and people were not seeing the machine. There was a machine that I was the only one who was seeing it and it was producing bread and in case of butter, it was putting honey in the middle. You could press it and honey was coming out and there were multitudes joining the queue and all I was doing was to serve the bread and honey and then people would take it and call their neighbors and friends they would join the queue again and the shocking thing in that vision was that it never got exhausted it didn't matter how many times they were joining the queue you see there is a dimension of our call and assignment that attends to the welfare of God's people it's a grace it's not a desire it's a grace it's a grace i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship him forever love him forever because Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick right now. I will pray for the sick and we'll come back to this finance thing. Please open up your heart to receive something on your head this night for your finances. If you don't believe it, no problem. You can do whatever you know to do. But allow those who believe it to receive. Are we together now? Don't interrupt another person's believing. We believe all kinds of things about finances and everyone 
we live in a world where God gives you the liberty to believe what you want to believe and receive of the fruit of your understanding hallelujah lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle now please this is the prophetic instruction I want you to listen carefully I'm going to rebuke sickness now please if you came sick this is your moment remember you prayed for an opportunity to discern I'm going to minister to you by the spirit of grace and the moment I minister to you I want you to check yourself if you need to use the medical stand I want you to run there and confirm it for instance if it's high blood pressure you can go to the medical stand and confirm or you can go to the convenience and confirm depending on what your situation is but I'm going to pray quickly and then I noticed for a month or two we've not had the time to take testimonies we'll take a few testimonies right now it's important that we give an opportunity for people to testify and uh, we'll work with the time we have we have to take testimony so please listen as the power of God touches you some of you as you came under the anointing upon returning back to your seat you found out that the pain the discomfort everything is gone the moment I pray for you and I ask you to come if you are in the overflow outside make your way very quickly just tell the ushers and the protocol that I am coming to testify they will test you and allow you to come and um, you'll be allowed to stay at my left or my right and there'll be a few people who will just confirm you and will take a few testimonies for those who are following online I'm going to pray and release miracles right now particularly healing miracles the moment that happens we have our helplines the PR lines I want to send in your testimony will take one or two to celebrate the good hand of God now if you came here listen carefully if you came here with a walking aid a crutch perhaps a wheelchair some kind of aid and you know that you have a bone condition I'm going to start with you whether you are outside any of the overflows when I pray for you I like you to believe that you receive strength and I want you to do what you could not do before and once we have a miracle confirmed for you and for any other person there are others who were brought maybe on stretchers others could not work others you are not able to see others you are not able to hear others you're having blood conditions palpitations you know all kinds of things release your faith now to receive place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle and speak to the Lord in one minute and I release that grace upon you you can stand in for your loved one they may not be here physically but I like you to believe for a miracle for them and as we always do there are hospitals there are clinics there are medical places that are people now are right now following uh, life and they're about to receive miracles for their loved ones I want you to encourage your loved ones to release their faith and the moment we pray we'll be glad to hear your testimonies I see people laying hands on photos believe God for a miracle the Bible says he that cometh to God must come believing that he exists I am a living testament of the healing power of Jesus I know he heals I know he heals blessed be the name of the Lord place your hand I want to pray for you now blessed be the Lord God Almighty who was the knees and is to come blessed be the Lord God Almighty who reigns for In the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God I take authority over every spirit of infirmity every spirit of infirmity every spirit of infirmity blood conditions spirits responsible for palpitations bone conditions deteriorations of organs I take authority over you by the blood of the eternal covenant and I decree and declare that you leave God's people now. I declare that you leave God's people now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit surge through your being right now, surge through your body right now, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I declare over everyone here sick in body be healed now. Shout a believing amen. Be healed now. Lumps and all kinds of satanic growths in your body. 
I command it to dissolve and to disappear now. Mobility problems. You are not able to walk. You are not able to stand. You are having bone problems, neck problems. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. You have any kind of eye condition you are not able to see or see clearly. I declare over your eyes, let the power of God touch your eyes now. I speak to anyone who is here deaf, be healed in the name of Jesus. Let the deafness be unstopped right now in Jesus' name. Anyone who is suffering from any blood condition, blood condition, the issue of blood or any kind of blood condition, be healed in the name of Jesus. I was so touched by the testimony that was shared here. I think it was, um, was it online or on site? The person who had, you know, from, would throw up anything that they, they ate and drank. I decree and declare any digestive problem that you have, you're suffering from, be healed right now in Jesus' name. There's someone you have a circulation problem. It's like something that has to do with excess fat in your body. Blood is not able to flow and circulate well. The Lord is healing you right now in Jesus' name. You have a neck problem. I don't know if you came with a bracelet or whatever aid, but I decree and declare that neck is healed right now. Shoulder pain be healed right now. Knee pain be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Kidney problems. You have any kidney problem. I declare that that kidney stone or whatever it is, it is flushed out of your body now. Flushed out of your body now. You have a respiratory problem. There's someone you have a serious respiratory problem. It makes you to snore. You snore very seriously. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. There is a woman, I'm saying that you have something like a growth and that growth is stopping you from taking in. This is what I'm saying. You have a growth and the growth is stopping you from taking in. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that that growth shrinks and leaves your body. And you will feel it within your body that a miracle has happened. In the name of Jesus. There's someone you've been having a very severe, I don't know what your problem you're having with your tongue. Your tongue. Very severe. Is it pain? Is it irritation or discomfort? Very severe irritation. I declare to you, be healed right now in Jesus' name. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Cancers of any and all sorts, whatever stage it is, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Anyone having a speech problem for you or your child, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Anyone believing God for an autistic child, we release the power of God and we declare healing right now in Jesus' name. Every mental health challenge, anyone who was brought here mad or brought here with any kind of psychosomatic condition, I decree and declare be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I want you to be healed. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to lay hands on one person. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. But the Lord is mentioning someone's case for me. And I am, the Lord is asking me to minister to you. This started from a dream. Listen carefully, please. Don't be careless to come out just because I said I would lay hands. It started from a dream. It's like you were fed with something in a dream. And from that time you woke up, you don't know the name of what is wrong with you, but you are losing weight. You are losing weight. It's like a demonic thing. I want to pray for that person very quickly. You woke up from a dream. And from the time you woke up from that dream, you've not been able to diagnose exactly what is wrong with you, but you are emaciating, you are losing weight. I want to know that person. I want to pray for you. It's a demonic thing. Hallelujah. We're still praying for the sick. 
are we receiving in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone it's not I don't know is your chest I, I'm not sure it's directly your breast but around your chest area there's been something a very a, like a mast something not directly on your breast but are, are maybe the upper part of your chest like a mast forming in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you that demonic satanic thing gives way right now shout a believing amen it gives way right now it gives way right now it gives way right now a demonic thing who brought this woman who brought her come and tell us what is wrong with her if she's not able to stand give her a seat i want to know what is wrong with her who brought her she's your mom no she's my um, husband's brothers my your husband's husband, what come again my husband's father's elder sister okay what happened to her this, this happened in 2021 after my husband passed your husband passed yes sir so in a dream i saw that i was injected since then i've been losing a serious weight I was 125 before. I keep dropping 70 something. So it's a long story, but I came purposely because I'm a member of this ministry online. 24 hours I watch this program. I said I have to come here today. I flew last week to Abuja. And so you're incapacitated. Look at this kind yes, of demonic thing. That Are you my leg, this? I had a stroke, mini stroke in May the 10th of may in orlando florida since then i've been going from hospital to a hotel hospital i went to i was supposed to come to virginia i mean i was supposed to come to Madame, dallas hold on the power of god is coming on you this woman in the name of jesus christ this one you're holding i decree and declare i just saw like oil dropping on your head i decree and declare whatever demonic thing leaves now I bring you life, bring you healing by the Spirit of God.